Chelsea is sitting eight feet from the foot of the tree. From where she is sitting, the angle of elevation of her line of sight to the top of the tree is 36 degrees. So let's draw the situation. So I have Chelsea, who is sitting on the far left over here. Uh, she is eight feet away from the tree, which I'm going to represent by that vertical line. And I'm going to label this with the letter H as the height of the tree. From uh, Chelsea's line of sight to the top of the tree, that is going to be 36 inches. So, or th 36 degrees rather. So this is 36 degrees. If her line of sight starts 1.5 foot ab feet above ground, okay, so I'm gonna have to adjust this. So that means this is going to be 1.5. Uh, how tall is a tree to the nearest foot? So this is going to be our ground. And so this is the ground here. So whatever value that we find for H, we're going to have to add 1.5 at the end. So looking at this, H is opposite of 36. 8 is adjacent to 36. So the trig ratio that we're going to use will be tangent. So tangent of 36 is equal to H over 8. Now I can solve for H. H will equal to 8 tangent 36. And whatever value at, that I get at the end, uh, let's say that, uh, I represent the total length of the tree here with the letter T. T is equal to 8 tangent of 36 plus 1.5 because Chelsea is one point, observing this 1.5 feet above ground. So I'm going to enter this into the calculator. Uh, I go to my calculator and I type in 8 tangent of 36, close parentheses, plus 1.5. And uh, when you do this, make sure your calculator setting is in degrees. So it's the third row, second option. And I'm going to press enter. So we have 7.3 approximately. And the question says to round to the nearest foot. So if this T is 7.3 approximately and we want to round to the nearest foot, that would be 7 feet then. That would be option two.